Welcome to our weekly half dollar coin roll hunting. Over the weekend I bought some items on Craigslist. So during our halftime show I will reveal what I found on Craigslist. And what that means is that you never know what you're going to get in the box. But because we're combining two things, I guarantee you we will see silver today. So let's open this box and see if we have any interesting enders. So we didn't see any interesting enders here. What we're going to look for is silver and IFCs. And at the halftime show, I'll show you what I found on Craigslist this weekend. Well, as promised, it's halftime. The score is zero to zero. So I'm not sure if this is American football or that other football, soccer, with such low scoring. So hopefully we'll get something more in the second half. But in the meantime, enjoy the halftime show. So I was shopping on Craigslist. I'm really looking for um, raw stack. But if I find something on Craigslist that interests me, I look for a value or a I'm trying not to get too much into coin collecting, more into stacking. So I've kind of broke my own um, rules, but I think I got something nice. I got three proof silver coins, and for good measure, he threw in these uh, one ounce copper coins. So let's take a peek at these. So I've got three proof uh, silver coins. One is a 64. Two of them are 1970S. I have yet to find in coin roll hunting yet any proof coins, nor any 1970 not intended for circulation, which the, um, it's either the Philadelphia or the D mint marks are really just sold directly from the mint. These are S marks, which are proofs. And, but this one seems exceptional. So they were advertised as uncirculated there's a whole unfortunate range of uncirculated which i am not skilled in identifying but if there's one that's sort of better than the others i think it might be this one and so but i don't know if this is good enough to to be graded anyhow i think they're nice hopefully i didn't pay over pay for them he said these weren't worth anything, but I threw them in as part of the transaction. I looked online, it looked like a one ounce copper coin could be worth anywhere from 99 cents to $1.99. I think the raw copper is worth about a quarter. So, um, so let me know if I paid too much for the proof halves, but I think in terms of raw silver, together they could be worth 10. I paid, I paid 16 for everything. So let me know below if you think that was too much. Um, but I got some nice finds. So we'll put these aside and we'll get back to the hunt. All right, so there's a 2002 NIFC. Well, that's the first time I've gotten any kind of sticker. The sticker is celebrating the life of U.S. General Melvin Zayas, who served in the Vietnam War. So thank you, General Zayas, for your service. We'll put that aside. All right, so here's a 2006 NIFC. Okay. All right. Let me double check all this, make sure I didn't miss anything, I'll be back. All right, so in searching through our coins, we found one more NIFC. So, uh, it's a good thing <laughs> we, good thing you watched the halftime show to see the only silver of the night because we did not find any silver tonight. So, so no silver, but three NIFCs, including an o two o twos and the 2006. The other thing that we found was this sticker, half dollar. 
So this is a fairly modern coin. It's kind of flatter and it's really hard to see, but you can tell it's a 2013 underneath all this. So this is an honor. Someone is honoring General Melvin Zayas, who achieved the rank of U.S. General in the U.S. Army, fought in World War II in the Battle of the Bulge, um, served in Vietnam, led the 101st Airborne Division. So anyhow, so someone is honoring uh, this gentleman, maybe a family member, and so I think the best thing to do to honor him is to put this back into circulation and other, let other people find him. So, I will take one more peek at our Craigslist find. And uh, this is the best one of the bunch. There were three proofs that I bought, and this is a 1970S. And it's got a pretty nice face and a pretty shiny back. I haven't really super inspected it to see if it's scratched. Anyhow, so that's our find of the bunch and we actually bought that. I much prefer to buy my silver from my stack at 50 cents a pop by coin roll hunting, but sometimes we don't find things coin roll hunting. Uh, we've got NIFC's coin roll hunting, so we're paying 50 cents a pop for these. Uh, but this one we paid a little bit more premium above uh, silver content, but hopefully we didn't overpay. That's our show for tonight. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've yet to subscribe, please subscribe. We do weekly uh, half dollar hunts and penny hunts. And occasionally I'll show you some things that I purchased uh, through Craigslist or other neat things in my collection. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.